Oh, I just sat on the DVD player and started up. Oh. Shut up for a minute. I'm busy. I'm busy. Right. Hello. You join me sitting next to my hi fi on the floor of all things. It's quite comfortable. Not for life, but I will be here for long, hopefully. Anyway, Japan is a country, if you didn't know already. And uh, it's quite popular these days because the old anime, you know? Quite a popular thing, I've got some posters over there. You can't see them, sadly. So, um, oh, I'm gonna have to cut this bit now. <laughs> Anime is very important in the CD collecting space because we have CDs for the opening songs and things like that, and that has made CDs from Japan much more popular. And uh, this means that more people want them, and it's getting harder to find them, but I thought I'd tell you how I find them. And where you should look, that's basically the same thing, Josh. Shout out. It's not being stupid. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? But first, before we begin, I'd better address this old hi fi business. Because if you watched my video about this Mavis deck, you'd remember that it was over there and the wall was blue. It's not anymore. I've redone out this, this room so it looks a lot more. Minimalistic, I suppose, but also more modern and less gaudy with the blue wallpaper or blue wallpaper, I'm about. blue paint. Yeah, and we've gotten rid of that JVC hi fi. We've now got a Sonos Play 5, first generation. It's just what I had. It's quite nice, it sounds pretty nice, I think. And this, this record player was always here, it was just off to the left over there in the previous video, so I've always had it, you just never saw it. And, uh, these two here, DVD player which I use for playing my CDs and if I ever get a DVD audio disc, which is highly unlikely because well they're very hard to find, where am I supposed to find a DVD audio disc? And um, I guess that day I got these a bit after this one, not too long after but they look quite stylish here on this little cabinet, I've got all my cassettes in here, records there, CDs there and up there which you can't see as well, they're up there, they're up there, yeah. uh, cassette deck, yeah I just talked about that already. We've got the switch box for the old Sonos, because there's only one analog input. And of course we've got the follow preamp, because this ain't got one inside. So yeah, it's all looking pretty stylish at the moment, which is nice. So that makes me happy, because I've never really had a proper hi-fi in my life before. And now I do, sort of. Except for this. If I had a nice amplifier with some of those speakers, I'd be a lot happier. But this sounds pretty good, so there we are. There we are. So, first. The first type of CD we have from Japan is your rego old CD, standard edition, used or new, depending on where you buy it. This one's used from like 2012. It's a repress of Man With A Mission's Welcome To The New World, which is the, their first album. It's sort of like an EP, so it's got a song from their original album, Man With A Mission, same name as the band, but this is like pr a precursor to that album, so it has one of the songs from that album. But yeah, so this is just a standard Japanese CD. Sadly, missing the OB strip, which is a strip. I'll get onto that in a moment. But yeah, this is a standard CD. No special bits, no DVD included or anything. Just a CD in a box with some nice artwork. If we take out the CD artwork in here, you'll see compared to a Western disc, this is much thicker. Look at that. Look how thick that is. It's because it has English lyrics, because Mamma Motion sings all their songs in English. Sometimes part English, sometimes part Japanese. So I have Japanese lyrics in the back for Japanese speakers because um, they don't understand English lyrics, I guess. Or maybe you do, maybe you don't, but it's just for the uh, Japanese audience who want to understand the lyrics. So, But yeah, that's your bog standard CD. Nothing really special about that except to come from Japan. It's pretty rare over here in the West. Next up, we have the junk CD. So this was bought on Japanese auctions, Yahoo auctions via Zen Market, which I'll get onto in a minute as well. And this was sold as junk, so not tested. But if you look at the disc, it's in perfect condition. I don't know what they're on about. So a good deal would probably to just buy things as junk. This is Kanaboo Doppel, which is a, an album I bought just basically on a whim, because I could have two albums together for like 400 yen, which I don't know, is like, I'd say about three pounds or something. So yeah, I thought, why not? But there we are, that's the second one. Right, thirdly, we have 
X rental discs. Now in Japan, CD rental is very popular. And a lot of those discs just go to waste, but some of them are sold on the Japanese auctions and on other places as X rental. And you can tell this is an X rental. This is Blue Encount QED, which has got openings from one opening from My Hero Academia, which is why I've got it, and it is a very good album. So as you can see, you can see the label on there. It's got 16665. Oh, that's the devil's number! Uh, yeah, whatever. 16665, and that is the catalogue number that would have been used in the rental shop. And this label here just says rental on it, so you can't really get much more much more direct than that. It was X rental. But it's in such good condition, apart from the stickers, it even still has the OB strip. Now this is an OB strip. It's just a strip that goes on the edge of the jewel case. It just makes it look nicer, I guess, and has some Japanese information about the album and the price, including and excluding tax. Why you'd want to know what it is excluding, I don't know, but there we are. So yeah, that's the next one. And finally, we have the anime special edition disc. So this one's from Tokyo Ghoul. This is the ending. This is People in the Box of the Saints. And this is Kizuna no Kiseki, or however you say it, by Man on the Mission and Mirei. If that's how I'm pronouncing it, I've got no idea if I'm pronouncing any of this correctly. But yeah, these are special discs made to commemorate the release of the anime, and these have just the songs from the opening on. This one's just got the ending, because that's what that one is. This has got the opening and the ending, and it's got a DVD as well with the creditless opening and ending from the actual anime. So these are good if you're a fan of, well, the show and you want the music in your hands. Like, this in my hand, you couldn't tell. So, that's basically it. There are other types of in fact, I didn't bring one down because I'm so well organised. I'm back. And the final special edition type of disc we have is this. This is a uh, just a, like a deluxe edition of a, an album. Like we have these over in the West, obviously. And this is just the standard album. So it tells a pure vibe of the mission. Very good. And it comes with a little storybook to go along with it. Now it's in Japanese, so I can't read it. But I'm sure it's very epic and it's got just general artwork. Really, really, really cool artwork actually. I've not really taken a good look at this really. But... If I could read this, this would be really cool. <laughs> well, and of course we have a, it would be stupid here as well. It doesn't really say much to be honest, it just says the name of the album. So. Awkward silence, XD. Um. So, where can you buy them? Number one, Zen Market. They're good. Japanese auctions, low cost to entry, like no, not as much fees as other or proxy sites. Number two, if you're in the UK, dubstore.uk. It's basically just the UK outlet for record store JP on Discogs. And obviously, three and four, we have Discogs and eBay. That's basically it. I mean, you could look on CD Japan as well, but some of the prices on there are extortionate and shipping can be a bit hit or miss because they still haven't restarted the economy uh, ML to the UK yet, so... There we are. I just felt like it's £20 to ship that Kitsuda Doki Seki CD from CD Japan because... Bloody... 